Uh, swimming, as I said, is a low is thought of uh, as a low impact sport, but it really does place a lot of stress on the joints, and one in particular is the uh, is the shoulder joint. Can you give us an idea of how much stress is placed on the shoulder joint during competitive swimming? Yeah, the problem with the stress of the uh, in swimmers is not the absolute load, but how many times it's placed within you know a period of time. You, know, you take baseball players; they have a lot of load. They throw 100, 125 times per outing. Um, tennis players, less load. They're about 150, 200. Uh, swimmers, much less load, but you know, thousands of times that they move their arm through the water uh, or more. So it's it's more the problem of volume and probably more fatigue. And the other thing is that they don't they can't use their whole body the way the baseball players and tennis players do because they can't push off of the ground as well. So they have to generate the force uh, to move their arm from their trunk and from their hips rather than from their legs. So it's a much harder way to generate force, and you have to do it very many t- more times. You mentioned fatigue as, uh, as one factor, and um, next question being, uh, what, what are some of the factors that contribute to the development of shoulder injuries in swimmers? Well, the one is the fatigue, the number of times you have to do it. And that, that obviously you can try to condition around, but that's one factor. <clears throat> Probably the most Im- uh, two other most important factors is that to... Uh, do be a good swimmer. You have to have very loose joints, but to get your arm through all those motions, and there's a real trade-off between how you got to go enough looseness to do the swimming stroke, but not so loose that the joint becomes unstable. And there's a very fine line. But probably the most important factor is, like I mentioned, you you have to generate so much force for basically pulling your body through the water uh, with your shoulder muscles and your arm muscles without being able to use your leg muscles in the same way to, to generate force as, the, um, as other sports. And therefore, you have to have much uh, stronger core and hip muscles to generate the force to pull your arm through the body, through the uh, swimming stroke.